Cat C series mid-size excavators used this type of monitor panel. Symbols were used on buttons that input commands into the data systems. The button on the right side with the three lines is the menu command. The arrow buttons on the left are for navigation inside the menus. Access to the service menu requires a password. In this case, the number is FFF2. Once in, you can scroll down one level and move sideways to access the fault code menus. Fault codes are defined as active errors, logged errors, active events, and logged events. The number of set codes will be displayed on the third line down. Moving the cursor down to the third line will highlight the first number. Now scroll to the right and the code number will be displayed in the bottom line. Active error and event codes cannot be cleared until the reason for them are repaired. Logged error and event codes can be cleared by scrolling down to the bottom line and hitting the action button next to the menu button. The word cleared will show up on the bottom. Pressing on the check mark button will tell the system OK and the code will be taken out of the system. You can move the cursor back up to the third line and move either way to the next code you wish to clear. In general, error codes mean that a problem is detected in the electrical system or individual electrical components. Event codes indicate something has happened that was outside the operating range of a system or component. Low engine oil pressure, low alternator charging voltage, high engine or hydraulic cooling temperatures are examples of events. We've finished with the logged errors and now are moving on to the event errors. There were no active events, so the system went directly to the logged events. The procedure to clear them out is the same as clearing error codes. There are other menus available within the service menu, but it isn't recommended that they be accessed without at least a service manual and a service person experienced in their application and use. There is a monitor function that becomes available when you exit the service menu. You can view operating data such as engine speed or pump pressures from this menu. Becoming familiar with the monitor panel and the data it can provide will save you money in maintenance and repair costs over the life cycle of the machine.